there are many videos about sharepoint online i have posted in this youtube channel in almost every video i have mentioned the fact that the sharepoint online is very good for project management keeping arbitrary files through the ui the problem starts when we want to programmatically interact with it either via the graph api sharepoint rest api or the csom api as per the microsoft recommendation we should use graph api whenever possible so normally we write our automation code or any other application code against the graph api graph api require graph id when we hear the graph id don't confuse with the traditional sharepoint ids list ids and things like that the traditional ids will look like an integer or a guid but the graph ids are little different mostly they will look like this as seen in the screen and there will be some scenarios where we need to get the graph id from the user interface so in this video we will be seeing how we can retrieve the graph id of a document from the sharepoint online user interface or without writing any code so here we are going to find the graph id of this document tracker.xlsx the easier way is to look for the network tab when this document is opening when you click on the document it will open in a new tab with the editing window so here in the browser f12 tab you can see a url with mru v2 service handler dot shx we can easily filter with mru here once we look at the url click on that then look at the response tab in the response tab we can see a json with this much data look for documents then we can see an array inside that each object is one document once we look at the item then scroll down to the onedrive info so once we reach the onedrive info we can see the graph ids this is the graph id of the drive this is a graph id of the item which is the tracker.xlsx the parent reference id is the graph id of the parent folder in our scenario the parent id will be project 01 folder id this is the easiest way we want to get the graph id from the sharepoint user interface the next approach is not really coding but we need to have some idea about the sharepoint rest api without writing we can use the browser and the http get method to get the graph id if you are familiar we can easily identify this one how to form an api url so normally it will be having the site url site url will be till uh, this point then underscore api then the remaining of the api specifications the first one is just for getting the folder by the relative url one thing to notice the sites slash data site will be repeating two places one before the underscore api second in the relative url like this the approach is very simple we have to locate the file using this api mechanism then select the graph id locating a file using the relative path is very easy we have a direct mechanism here get file by server relative url into that we have to pass the relative path to the file this much url we won't get the graph id that we are looking for in order to get the graph id we have to expand the list item all fields as well as the file under that then select the magic property called v room item id so this is how the result works prepare the url and browse to that since it is http get it will be working simply in the browser address bar here you can see the graph id start with 01 xv ending with bimw this is the same id we have got in the ui itself 01 xv and bimw if you are worried about what is this magic v room item id it is something published by microsoft on august 2020 when they released the new version of csom if you go through this article we can see they have documented about this property v room item id as well as v room drive id there is no clarity what's the v room versus what is the graph id but this is something it is working and documented so we can depend upon it i'll be adding the links in the description i hope you got something new from this video in case of any questions please add in the comment box as always thanks for watching bye